working with fractions can be kind of confusing and what they're trying to show is we can get rid of the fractions as one of our ways of solving this. And it's gonna take something we call brackets. If I wanna get rid of the denominators on both of these, I can multiply by their inverse. But this is four and this is two, or half and fourth. If I multiply both sides by four, it's gonna clear both of these denominators out because four is a multiple of two and four is a multiple of four. What I just did here is I put brackets all the way around this and I'm using brackets instead of parentheses because there's already a set of parentheses there and that's what we use when it's like our next phase of parentheses. So I want you guys to look at what I've got here. If I'm gonna multiply four times one fourth What's four times one? Four. four divided by four is one. And that's gonna be rewritten here as one times x plus five. And on the right side of my equation, because I multiplied by four on the left, I have to do the same thing to the right. I'm gonna do one times four, which is four, and divide by two. What's four divided by two? Two. Two. And now I can look at this and say, okay, well, I've got a one times x and a one times five. Is anything gonna change in here when I multiply them? If I multiply them by one, they stay the same. And I wanna get the x by itself. What's left with it right now? The five, so if I subtract the five from both sides, I'm gonna get a negative number. My x is equal to negative three because positive two and negative five. That's going back to our ideas with our number lines earlier this year, right? So then if I wanna to try to do this a second way, cause that was my first way, I got rid of the fractions and I just multiplied to get rid of denominators. The second way is what if I actually keep the fractions and I just work with them? Oops, I'm starting to write it without giving you guys the original problem again. So let me start up here. One fourth times x plus five equals one half. So if I'm gonna distribute this one fourth, I'm gonna multiply it times both of these. One fourth times x is gonna give me one fourth x. Five times one over four is just gonna give me that improper fraction of five fourths. And it's equal to one half. I don't want to leave that as one half though because everything else over here is fourths so I'm going to convert this to two fourths by multiplying these by two and over two. Right? I want to have the same denominator and now I want to subtract the five fourths and I'm going to subtract it from both sides of the equation. Uh, it looks like it kind of looks, it looks like it's three times. Yeah. It does look like it's times, but we're working with variables, so it's an x. I'm going to bring this down because it's staying the same. Positive 5 fourths minus 5 fourths becomes 0. So I have 1 fourth x is equal to 2 fourths minus 5 fourths is going to give me negative 3 fourths. And I still need to get rid of this 1 fourth over here because it's with the x. So I'm going to multiply by its reciprocal, which is 4. 4 times 1 is 4, divided by 4 is 1, it gives me x. And this and this are going to divide out, leaving us with just negative 3. So two ways where we got to the same answer. I think they both look confusing because fractions are just kind of challenging to work with, aren't they? But if we know that we can take care of reducing these by um, multiplying by the reciprocal, we can get rid of the denominators.